Okay. That's a very long word, async, yeah, yep. All right, so what I'd like you to do here is, um, oh, good for you. How long does Cedar Point stay open? As long as it's warm enough? You won't be able to go in the water park part, right? right? Just the, uh, oh, you are too. Okay, going with Madison. Oh, it's a Halloween. Oh, yeah, nice. Do they have lots of scary stuff? Okay. Not with her. Okay. Uh, that's okay. That's all right. You're late. I had to change my, okay, Tyrese. Okay, so here's what uh, I gave you guys. This is uh, the boar, labeled boar atom. Uh, let me show it to you. So if you get in there and look at that, um, I'll share that with you. Go ahead, take a look at that. And then just match up the pieces. We've been talking about the atom. I'm going to hit my settings here so I have people coming and going so I know what they're doing, chatting, and so forth. Save. I'm going to open up a breakout room later on today. So... All right, so basically you wanna put the, these in order. There are five things what we've been talking about. All right, so who have an eye? Hey, hey, Christian, hey, Donovan, hey, Gavin, how are you guys doing? Jaleel, Kalia, and Lillian, how are you guys? Shayana, Tyrese, and Victoria, how are you? 20, 15 people here on an afternoon. Now we got 16 people, who'd we get? Got a new person. Who was it? Came in. Uh, I can't tell. It said 15. Now it says 16. All right. Hey. Oh, no. It's just you, Shayana. You were saying hi. So, okay. Go ahead and link these. Tell me how. Tell me when you get done. Um, I'll give you about three minutes to get these five set up. All right. See if you can remember. Oh, I'm just saying hi to you, Kalia. Saying hi, how are you? Um, people are going to Cedar Point because it's Halloween. And that's kind of cool. The weather, I hope, is nice for you all, whoever's going. So this is the link in the bottom there. It's up, well, it's up at the top now. There you go. Do this. Tell me in the, the private chat if you got it done. And then I'll move on to the next thing here. I, I usually wait till about the three minute mark and I do it myself. So see if I keep myself from being rusty, right? Okay, not a problem. Take a second. Like I said, I wait till about three minutes and 25 seconds. So, and I'll do it myself. See how you guys are doing. All right, almost there, three minutes. Anybody got it done yet? Put it in the private chat or just say done in the, the regular chat. All right, so, 
Okay, so you just have to hit submit when you get done. So, okay, so look at uh, electron orbit or shell. So this is the shell, right, right there, right? And let's see, over here, negative charge. Okay, so that would be this one, negative charge. That's the electron. Uh, the nucleus is this bracket that shows both the protons and neutrons in there. The protons are the DNA that tell you what the element is. The neutron has no charge, and that's why you have a green one. And I think I got everything. Let me see. Do I have them all linked? And then I click this, and I got them all right. And we got five out of five. Okay. So we're going to move on to this. Um, pair deck, right? And please respond to this. Uh, we get a lot of practice today on valence, but we're going to go over first. We're going to go over um, yesterday's uh, exit quiz because not many people did very well in the exit quiz yesterday. Jeremy, your Wi-Fi. Oh, no. Jeremy, you are having difficulty today. I'm going to close the chat here and then just put the this in. Okay. You can't get into it, Jeremy. That's okay. It's drawing day. It might take a lot of power from you. All right. So we're going to go to 926. All right. And we're going to do a review of... Here we go. So you should have a better idea of how to draw an electron arrangement. But again, like some, you may know some, you may go, oh, I forgot what I even had for dinner last night. Um, maybe that's the problem. You may be, uh, still have some knowledge about drawing a board diagram, but never fear. We will be working on that together and then determine the valence of electrons we will do that. So you probably don't know, have any idea on that. So electrons are the most important type of subatomic particle. They are responsible for bonds that hold individual atoms together. Many chemical reactions that occur around us and within our bodies and are a direct result of this interaction between electrons and different atoms. Electrons are also very important in the world of electronics. Very small particles can stream into circuits. You know, I, I just saw on the, the the, I have a trending um, website that shows me they they have a, a camera now that is the size of a grain of rice. It's like, what? A grain of rice? All right. Uh, that's amazing. So let me see how many people are responding to this, and I will put you down for participation. Okay, please participate. It really is great i'm grateful for you guys participating so um i'm going to whatever you link i'm you know again i if you say you don't know much that's okay maybe you weren't here yesterday so that's why we're reviewing all right so let me get the people that are doing this today is tuesday and yesterday i had Sh shayana and i had donovan and i have madison and christian and jaleel let's see if i get the same people today all right, so today I got Donovan. Yeah, Donovan. All right, thanks, Donovan. And I got Jaleel again. Thank you, Jaleel. And I got Kalia. Where are you, Khalil? Kalia, sorry. I didn't have you yesterday, but I'm glad you're here today. Uh, Kamaya, of course. Kamaya is working on this. Thanks so much. And I have Madison as well. Madison was here yesterday as well, working on this. And Shayana. So if you can get yourself in there. Um, so the person that I didn't get, I didn't, I had Christian yesterday. So see if Christian's in here today. Donovan, so one, two, three, four, five, 
six six people jeremy and uh, christian and tyrese ty are in here but uh haven't responded yet so maybe they're having trouble with their computers as well all right so let's move on okay so um this is the questions we had from yesterday's exit quiz i just changed the element so how many electron shells does this atom of boron have how many electron shells does this atom of boron have so in that if you can if you don't if you're not able like jeremy is probably having trouble getting on if you want to just go ahead and put it in the the private chat for me i'll give you credit for that private chat as well okay how many electron shells does this have all right, still waiting for Shayana and Kamaya and Jaleel and Christian, Kalia. Drag and drop. Yeah, drag and drop. Let's put it to where you think it is. Or you can put the, Jeremy, you can uh, put it in the private chat. Just put a number. How many does this have? Okay. All right. Okay, so a lot of different answers here. So um, some say negative one, one says zero, two, uh, uh, two and five. So shells are where the orbitals are, the orbits. Okay, so if we look at this, just for your, just a review of what we did yes, last week, this is shell one, this is shell two. So there are only two shells, only two shells in this one. If they have another, dotted line, that would be the third shell. So remember from yesterday, if you uh, remember, um, we talked about JJ Thompson had the plum pudding model. He had this big plus and a bunch of little minuses everywhere. It looked like raisins everywhere. Now that's the JJ Thompson, but now we're doing the Bohr model Okay, and he uses orbitals, orbits, or shells. Okay, and he says, oh, that's right. Electrons um, have specific places they go, and that's what they did. Okay, so that is just two. So some, if you guys in the gallery, if you um, put five, make it two. If you put negative one, make it two. Okay, so make it two. Nope, nobody's moving here. So the answer here is two. There are two shells. All right. So how many electrons in the first shell of this boron atom? So remember the boron atom, okay, I'm going to put these in blue, okay, has five electrons. Okay, and that five electrons, five pluses and five electrons gives me a zero charge. So how many electrons of those five go in to this first shell, number one shell? How many go in there? Not all of them. There's only an, a certain number that go in there. Okay, some of you guys got it. More of you do. Okay, some people say two, some people say zero. Oh, one person. Okay, everybody changing their mind, changing their mind. Okay, so remember, one electron here, one electron there. Okay, that first shell gets two. And, and then it says, first shell says two and I'm full. Okay. So that's something you have to remember. You might have to take some notes on this or look at your notes in order to do this, but first shell takes two and that's it. After that, I'm done. All right. So that was from the exit quiz yesterday. How many electrons in the second shell? Okay. So remember I said there are five electrons. Okay. 
first shell takes two how many does the second shell take so these are go into the first shell and remember we're taking five protons plus five electrons to give us a zero or neutral charge all right a lot of you got it i don't know where people got eight and ten so we've got two electrons in the first shell how many are left one two three so this is the second shell second shell are the three that are left it okay again first shell takes two second shell takes the three but it can take up to eight so that's what you might be thinking up to eight but we don't have eight only using up to eight so three in the second shell right if it's a generic thing if i asked how many electrons does a uh, the second shell can the second shell hold you can say it'll hold eight all right next question all right how many electrons in the third shell of this atom how many electrons in the third shell of this atom okay so remember Neutral atom is still boron, so one, two, three, four, five electrons. How many electrons in the third shell of this boron atom? All right, I got um, just one person responding. Jaleel just responded. All right, I've got... Com Kamaya, and I got Madison and Shayana. Okay, you guys are getting it. There's Oz. Thanks, Oz. I didn't see that you were in there before. Thanks for getting in there, Oz. All right. Tuesday. Let's see, they got Joseph. All right, Joseph's in there. Tyrese. All right. Okay, most of you guys got this right. There is no third shell, right? There is no third shell. It's only got two. So if there is a third shell, it could get up to 18, 8 to 18, so to be full. So just tricking you there. Okay, so just a review of yesterday's information. Electrons exist outside the nucleus in regions known as energy levels or electron shells. Perfect, perfect question for quiz. First shell takes the first energy level, has the lowest amount of energy in the electrons. It, it goes into the first shell. Two, is, two makes it full. Second shell, eight. Third shell, eight or 18. All right, and then after 20 atoms elements, we use a different one. But again, this is the Bohr atom. It looks like a, uh, the sun's in the middle and then planets are rotating around it. So um, that is, or I should say revolving around it, around it. And that is what we're talking about Bohr's idea, 1913, came up with this, and then we've been using it ever since. So remember, first shell two, second shell eight, third shell eight or 18. But if you don't have a third shell, okay, it, you know, you got just two or eight. If you only have a first shell, then it only has up to two. So the lower energy must be fill in before the other ones can. So you have to go in, fill in the first shell first then the second shell then outside you go from in to out all right so here's my sodium atom here is my protons right here so protons are 11 and that is also the number i have 11 protons and i will have 11 electrons to make this neutral so now i've got two in the first shell so it says eight in the second shell that's 10 and then this one third shell 
as one. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about today is valence electrons, and we're only going to talk about it for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, and then we're going to do a little bit of practice, and then um, I'm going to have you work on your assignment W. We're going to work on that together, W6 assignment 1. Okay, so inner versus valence electrons. Okay, inner versus valence. So valence electrons are the ones that are chemi cause chemical reaction. The, the valence electrons are the one um, that are on the outermost electron. So there are three shells here, okay? There are the inner ones, row two, uh, shell one and shell two. Shell three, so shell three happens to be the outermost shell. There are one, two, three electrons. Those are called the valence electrons. They are the ones that cause chemical reactions to occur. They're called the bonding electrons, okay? So here are the bonding electrons, which they all call the valence electrons. There are four of them, because they're one, two, three, four, right, of the six. Now, if we look at what we've learned so far, all right, so we have six protons here. We have six neutrons here, and we have six electrons. We can tell that from counting them. So totals, these are our totals. So if we look at a period, the periodic table, we will find that six protons, remember this is the DNA, six protons says it's a carbon. Six and six here gives us our atomic mass. That's 12. That's atomic mass. So we've come a long way. We're talking about this in scientific terms. Atomic mass is the protons plus the neutrons. Protons plus the neutrons. This is the atomic number. When I say atomic number, you say protons. Okay, so far we've got that, right? So, but now what we're talking about is valence. So we're adding to that valence electrons are the outermost shell and they cause the bonding. Valence cause the bonding. So we're adding all this information together. So there's quite a few things that we could add to to ask you about, right? So valence is bonding. So let's talk about just the valence electrons now. So remember, we're just gonna count the outside ring. So there are two shells, one shell. So we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about these. We're just gonna talk about this one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we put six here. That says we're six valence or out, outside outermost electrons. Remember that the ones that are furthest away cause the bonding. The bonding. Okay, so tell me how many you got in this the phosphorus and the chlorine. So, how many do you get in the phosphorus and the chlorine? Good job, Joseph. All right. All right. Let's see if you got the. Uh... Hey, Shalea. Didn't see you before. Thanks for getting in. So, what do you got for the second one? So, we got six for the first one. Good job there, Joseph. You got them right there. And we got Donovan, Christian. Okay. All right, so let me help you out. So there's a lot of people that are stuck on this. Okay, so again, I'm gonna count them out. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So there are five there. Those are your valence electrons. We don't look at the other ones. We, they don't 
get involved rarely, rarely get involved in the bonding. The ones on the outside do get involved, okay? So that's five. And then if we look at chlorine, we have two in the first shell, eight in the second shell, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have six and five and seven, All right? All right, Jaleel, Madison, Oz, and Tyrese have not responded yet. Could be that they have laggy computers. Six, five, seven. Thanks, Kalia. Thanks, Joseph. Thanks, Jeremy. And thanks, Donovan. Let's see. Make sure I got Jeremy's name down here. Okay. All right. So pretty much what we're trying to do is to, it's just to count up the atoms on the outside. Okay. You can see 657 here. Just the outside ones. Let's do one more. Let's draw a beryllium atom. I showed you that there are four protons. How many electrons do I need to put into the, both those shells? Anybody know? How many electrons? Not five. Pretty close. Remember, we were, yeah, there you go, Ty. Four of them, right? Four of them. Because we're making a neutral atom. Okay, so first we take a look. We make a neutral atom. If we have, if we have to look in the periodic table, we go to the periodic table. But we, whatever the number of protons. So beryllium looks like this in the periodic table. It looks like this. It looks like Be. And then it has four. And then it has nine. So four is the atomic number. And then you just say, oh, then they got to have four electrons as well. So we know how many go in here. Two. First shell. Okay. And then we're going to change the color here. And we're going to just highlight that there are two valence electrons. Valence. And write that all out because it helps you remember, get your hand and your brain syncing together. So we're still using that rule. First shell that has to fill up first, takes two electrons. Second shell takes the other two because they're a total of four. All right, so make sure you have labeled that that way for me. Just helps you keep it in con. Um, keep it um, straight in your mind. There you go. Thanks, Madison. You got yours figured out. All right. Thanks, Ty. Make sure you put the two electrons inside and the two electrons outside and then put a line to show that those are your valence electrons. Thanks, Oz. Just put that those that line to link those two there and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. There you go. V A L E N C E valence. And some people think of it as like if you if you talk to your parents and you talk to your folks uh, or your guardian and they go, what are you talking about? Something that goes on the top of curtains? No, no, not that, a valence. This is valence. All right, so those are the different, those are the outside, outside most electrons. Those are the ones that are involved in bonding, involved in bonding. Not the inside ones, the outside ones, right? Jeremy, you're, you're pointing to one of the inside ones, so make sure you're doing the outside ones. All right, Joseph, thank you much. Thanks, Kamaya. Thanks, Madison. 
And we got Shalea, thank you, and Ty. Okay. I think we have one more to do just to practice. So there's beryllium. Okay, so boron. I'll let you guys working on that. Okay. How many electrons we're going to put in there? Okay. How many are we going to put in there? I'm putting my blue ones here. One, two, three. You're going to match up with the uh, protons. Remember, that's going to be in the first shell. Those first two. And those are going to be in the second shell. First two going to be right there. And then we're going to have three. I changed the color of that one. I had green, but I have something else. And I'm going to have that one, that one, and that one be my valence electrons. So we practice both having electrons writing in the electrons in the matter that they they go in, go in the first shell first, and then they fill up the rest of them in the second or the third. Well, they go first, then when we get after two, then we the extra ones we put in the second, up to eight. And if we have more than eight, we go to the third shell. Great job, guys. I got you. Red is a valence. All right. Okay. Looks good, guys. They're doing great. So there is my key. Those are my three electrons. The valence electrons are the bonding. Okay. So what I'd like you guys to do, I want to see how you do on this exit quiz. So in... Um, counting up valence electrons and this will tell me whether or not you have um, got the information need more practice all right so um we had 14 i got 33 respondents already um today um if you are doing this let me go back here. Almost, we got that. And then we're gonna go over, good question. We're gonna do that. You can do the valence electron exit quiz for me. So after you get done with that, would you please, what we're gonna do is we're going to go over the assignment. I'm gonna show you assignment. Gonna work on this together. So W6 assignment one, I'll show you how that works. We'll work on that together because we got about 15 minutes. Hey, Aaron, how are you? I missed you. I didn't see you earlier. Hey, Brent, you got in here a little late, huh? See who else came in a little bit that I didn't see before. Jocelyn, I didn't see you either. Kaylee, how are you doing? Phoebe, I missed you in class. I didn't see you at the beginning there. You could have come in and I just didn't see you. All right, good for you. Glad for you.
All right. So let's see how you guys are doing. I got 35. I got two us to make sure you do a power school. No, I kind of want physical science six. All right. So. So basically, you're asking how many valence electrons does the element have? Number only. So we're counting the outside ones. How many electrons in the first shell of this atom? So we're kind of doing review from yesterday. How many does first shell hold? After you draw in the electrons, how many electrons would be you put in the second shell of this element? Number only. And then after you draw the electrons, how many valence electrons are in the atom featured below? Okay, so we got four questions. Let me see who's responded so far. All right. So we have um, Oz. Um, Joseph, and we have um, Madison, and I'll keep looking here, and um, Donovan, and Donovan, yep, got 40. <laughs> Something like fishy too. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at... Um, while you guys are doing that. So if you can do me a favor and um, write down how you think you did. This is supposed to say valence on it, uh, valence electrons. So if you could type in whether you got how you're doing, if you feel like you've gotten better at drawing. So if you have no idea, some more, you know more or give me the test how you're doing on that that'll tell me how much um, i need to go over this tomorrow all right oh you're right you can't see thanks so much there you go it's supposed to be valence you guys really doing well i had like almost 14 people where i've got 12 people still All right. Hey, Phoebe. All right. When when did you get in, Phoebe? Did you did you are you were you in the beginning of the class? Okay. So, um, how about yesterday's stuff? Were you okay with yesterday's stuff? Okay, so that's where we're lost, Tom. Huh? Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, what I'm going to do, Phoebe, I'll, I'm going to um, put you in a um, breakout room and link. Sure. Did you just get here, Khalees? Your pay. Yeah, you do get paid to go to school. Oz, they um, they actually you um, you pay for my salary, so so every person I get, so you were I'm actually your employee, so great, aren't you? are a great person here. I appreciate you. All right, here's the link to this uh, link. You resign. Come on, Oz got a lot of power if you resign if everybody just resigned i wouldn't have a job okay so here's what i want you guys to do um next step 
All right, so let me um, close this out. Close this out. All right, so if we go to block six, um, and we've got this ordered, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, the bore model notes. So you're going to click on block six, um, week six, bore model notes. Download those. Okay. Um, I'm going to make these smaller. Now, the thing is that you what you want to do on this one, the bore these, the week six assignment one only goes so you got all the information from from monday 9 25 everything in week six assignment one goes just through these six uh these 12 slides okay and then um after that that's more like 15 slides Right after when you get to the exit quiz, you stop. Okay, so next thing you want to do, you want to have that open. Let's open up another slide here, and then you want to get this and go to block six. All right, I'm going to have to open this up completely. Go to your module again and go to week six, assignment one. Okay, I'll give you that link so it helps you out. Chris Gale, the science cells. All right. <laughs> I like it. Right. Okay, so there you go. Okay. All right, there you go. So have that side by side. Um, I'm going to open up a breakout room. All right. And if you want some help on understanding the Bohr atom, I will certainly, um, I, I know that uh, somebody asked about that. So I'm going to open that up. So um, I'm going to create a breakout room. Um, And I'm going to um, allow you guys I'm going to ask some people to come in. Let's see. So I'm going to help some people if you want to um, ask for help on how to do these. I can do that. Okay, I'm going to do.
Okay. See you guys. I know we got a couple more minutes left. I was working with somebody in the other room. Um, so just remember you have. Hey, Tyrese, you're, you're out, huh? Is that your voice, Tyrese, or is somebody else? Changing prices. Oh, I don't, don't know what changing prices means for you. Okay, so remember, Friday is a teacher PD day, teacher PD. So you have an async today. Async. Why do I have A Y Async? It's Y N C day. Okay, so there's no live classes. All right. All right, Kalia. Um, I was I tried to put you in a breakout room, but I forgot to link it, so it didn't work. So what is what kind of help do you need? We got a, a minute left to go. What's your what help do you need? Hey Tyrese, you you said you're out, right? Let's um I'm trying to talk to Ty, uh, Kalia. Let's keep the um chat up. All right. You can go. All right, so was it your computer? Bye, Joseph. Was it your computer or was it the school's computer? Okay, uh, did you call the, uh, and it's working now? I could tell, I guess. Oh, good, good, good. Thanks, Jeremy. So, um, so was it you were not able to get in class last week at all? Okay. So, what I would do is um, is do this. Okay. So last week, okay, we went. Okay, most of the stuff that we are talking about will be in here. You go to YouTube, look up my um, Mr. Gale's YouTube page. I think it's under, I'll give you a link here. So if we go look at my videos. So um, we did... Um, here are the assignments. Here's week five, assignment two we did, and week, uh, week five, history of the atom. So there we have that. So I, I'll give you a link to this. And then we have both assignments are listed there, okay? So watch the, just check out my YouTube channel and you can watch the videos and do the assignments, okay? All right, if you have need any help, let me know. All right, guys, I got to let you go. Have a good one. Thanks a lot.